hello, hello, woo! Thank you so much for having me. Um, I wanted to talk to you. You have FHM here. Yes, yeah. yeah. So, him. For him magazine. Thank you. It stands for <laughs> For Him magazine. In case anyone was wondering, that's so helpful. Are you going to do this the whole time? <laughs> do you know all acronyms? <laughs> What does the NHS stand for? Because you don't have it. So, sorry, say it again. National Health and Security? National Health and Security. <laughs> Someone's embarrassed themselves. <laughs> and by that I mean me, because I don't know what it stands for. Um, right, so, For Him magazine, you have it here. I was really surprised. I thought it was just this horrible thing that existed in England. Ten months ago, I got an email from them saying that they were contacting real women, by which I assumed they meant small-breasted. And th 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 uh, they said... They were, I, I can crack the code. Um, they said they were doing a, a special edition of their magazine. It was going to have a pull-out section in it. No photographs, just real women t talking about their sex lives. Now, I don't really like FHM or how they choose to portray women, but I did think hang on, if I do this for the first time, someone will be saying something achievable in their magazine and not just going, oh, I love threesomes up the bum. I thought, I thought, I thought, I will do it, I'll ruin it. So, um, I said yes. They sent me an email back, it had ten questions in it, and the first one said, do women really like blowjobs? And I was instantly incensed. Like, number one, this is the problem of your magazine and how you approach things. How can one woman represent her entire gender? I can't speak for everyone. I can only ever speak for myself. When you frame things like this, this is why you make women feel abnormal if they don't enjoy something or they end up getting coerced by a partner. I do like blowjobs, but I don't think anyone should ever expect one and they should never shove your head. And if they take ages to come, put an audiobook on. <laughs> sensible and it was achievable and I suddenly got really excited about it. I thought, this is it. I'll be speaking to formative men. They'll be hearing about something from a female perspective. And I spent about six hours writing the answers to these questions. And I sent it back to them and I was so excited about that magazine coming out and the revolution starting. And it did come out four months later and I had a real lesson in editing. So... <laughs> Right. My entire contribution to a 10-page pullout was this sentence. Female comedian, Sarah Pascoe. Notice that comedian wasn't enough. They had to stress that I was a female comedian, rather than one of the male ones. Female comedian, Sarah Pascoe, says, I like blowjobs! <laughs> Exclamation mark. Right. But what hurt my feelings about that wasn't I spent half a day on something that was thrown in the bin and it wasn't even that young men aren't learning from me. What hurt my feelings was the exclamation mark. Because I did not put it there. <laughs> and it changes everything. It makes it look like they didn't even ask me, but I just shouted it from a window. <laughs> that I go around bellowing that all the time and someone heard and typed it up. Actually, it's time that we just get used to it. Women have bodies, let's undermine their currency. All women should just be naked at all times. <laughs> What's the first thing that would happen? Straight men can't handle it. And they just start ejaculating all over the place <laughs> and frothing at the mouth and fainting. They can't get on public transport. They can't go into work. There's naked women there. They have to stay at home with the curtains drawn. And this means that women and gay men now run the world. <laughs> every single position of power all the way up to the top. So, of course, everything's going to get sorted out. Ladies, we won't need to wax or shave anymore. We'll need our body hair for warmth. <laughs> the hairier, the better. And in the future, in a court case, when a woman claims a man has attacked her, no one will ever again be able to insinuate, ah, oh, but was she asking for it because of her low-cut top or her short skirt? To so say, no, she's completely naked and it still doesn't mean that she consents. And anyway, the defendant's jizzing all over the dock. <laughs> he can see the judge's boobs. She may be just send him to prison, but the one difficulty is logistics. Logistically, it does need to be all women at the same time for this to work. It can't be a small band of us hoping others will join. It needs to be all of us. So I was thinking May the 4th. Tell the others. <laughs> Don't leave.
of me hanging. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. Good night.